instructors group and it's open format open for any kind of questions and answers whoever can answer and whoever wants to question so i open the forum for opening any discussion on whatever queries you may have especially addressed to the senior among us dr peter hilton dr dominic on uh, dr schmidt Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, and also on the local people here. Similarly, we are doing the paper and we are making a decision. If you refresh a little bit on the higher side, less likely it will leak as compared to if we call it to normal or other patients. It's, it's unavoidable to act. I don't ever use the table of the air inside now. Very rarely we need to suture it. But then when you use the right vector when you take it, what they use is a small incision and even you suture less than the So they won't mind putting one stitch at it if you're like it. It's, it's better to do that. I guess 20 sleeves and then you have page surgery is very nice for macular surgery or floaters or uh, it is a much business of collaboration where you cannot eat. So you can call that when you know, I have a complete retinal detachment or complex retinal detachment with multiple plates and I <coughs> like to combine it with the circling, yeah, I, I don't use the 20 speed gauge, so I like to prefer to combine it with the circling. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
fix smaller uh, vitrectomy takes a longer time because you cannot remove vitreous that easily. 20 gauge yeah. removes much faster than a 25 gauge. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, don't believe a little bit detachment. Vitrectomy is quick with 25 gauge. This is not my experience. So it takes a long time to clear the vitreous and vitreous. This is heavy work. So it's not comparable to hypersurgery. So, so, you, so you have to 
place a problem is the concentration. So that is uh, 0.25 milligrams per milliliter uh, is safe, but you, you have to adapt the amount of the last time which you have to use some air temperature. Yes, for maybe in a year's time I can tell you where it is falling apart. <laughs> Dispense is a bastion in uh, 0.1 mil quantities, so we give half before the operation and half thorough, and then we've covered all the options. <laughs> <laughs> Suppose you've got a redetachment, if you're given a bastion at the end, and you have a redetachment, it will be a very disaster. A lot of spine will be there, the retina will be really. Yes, but uh, if, you've, if you've done a complete delamination, then uh, the redetachment would be due to, usually due to entry site break or make that. You'd be a bit unlucky to get, I mean, it can happen, re-proliferation, but whether it's a vascular or not. Uh, but I think you get this massive uh, fibrotic response in the presence <coughs> of pre-existing extensive membranes. I don't think a vascular in a, in a delaminated retina would have quite the same marked effect. And Again, I, I, I've got a fairly low threshold for putting in four milligrams of transcinolin at the end of the operation as well. I don't have any figures to prove anything, but I, I just feel the eye will be a bit quieter with less of a tendency to inflammatory processes if you have a spot of steroid in there as well. One gets desperate sometimes in certain cases. We, we throw everything at them. Well, what I do with all my infusion I think that's in the prison. Yes, sure. Four eight milligrams. Does the vest have any role in uh, non dissolving the tissue sample? Mm -hmm. Just if the patient doesn't want to go for surgery and we inject anybody has any experience in that, the vest helps in dissolving the tissue sample? We again are examining with this hemorrhage, but you don't know what is uh, going under this with this hemorrhage. And you want to buy time? Maybe yes. But not as a treatment to help in resolve the disease. Not that. Yes, uh, I don't think there's any effect of avastin on resolving hemorrhage. I was involved in a vitreal study, which has been used highly on to try and resolve vitreals, and they claimed a statistically significant result, but the papers were published about three years ago, and so far we're not using it in all our surgeries, so my guess is that uh, vitreals has gone the way of all other bright ideas to resolve hemorrhage. Just have to stick to good old cutter. Has uh, anyone used tissue plasmating activated for the during vitrectomy for proliferative activity? No. In some cases, you get very large clots and uh, very adherent clots to the other side. Uh, not not really for vitreous hemorrhage, but we use for a separate hemorrhage, not for vitreous hemorrhage. Routinely, we use for separate hemorrhage. Yes. 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 Thank 
case there is a skin And that is the doubt we have. That's the reason we are hesitant using. So we are not sure about that. So that means I need to do fluorescent injection on every single patient. I don't think anybody just do a fluorescent injection. Yeah, I mean, if there is doubt, then this could be a skin condition. If you doubt here, you're doing. Okay. And then you hesitate, but you have other areas like the spot to some extent. But then it doesn't aggravate issue here. I don't think so. We only ask for. Probably some OCT, but it wasn't reflected in leakage on the fluid side. It wasn't reflected in ischemia on the fluid side. Not because, of course, you get thickening, or you get thickening if you close down the capillaries initially, and then that thickening will go. It's like having a cockable spot, you get thickening when you have a cockable spot. Intracellular, rather than extracellular. This was more sort of diffuse. Well, it could only be played by intracellular swelling. It was more of a diffuse. It was as if you had loculi of little pockets of fluid, which were seen. I've not seen it, but what is something like you land up for a typical scenario you are describing what you see in a macular stasis? Is it you are dealing with tractional stasis in macula because of diabetic, and then traction is relieved, and what is left is stasis, and you are landing up this part? Well, I'll email you the pictures and give you your expert opinion. I also want to share one thing. The CSR is documented to be more common in males all over the places. Well, thank you very much. This has been a pause for now. I just decided to review the energy, knowing that the symposium has closed, so we managed to end it. And I congratulate every of you. I am very grateful, very thankful to each one of you who have come and made this possible. I am indeed very indebted to all of you for this. And uh, we disperse now. Uh, transport will take you to the Reed Suits. And we have a gala dinner at 9 o'clock in Crown Plaza. So the transport will pick you up, I uh, guess, at 8.35 from the Reed Suits. So this is the end of scientific deliberation. Around two hours of cultural lecture by us at uh, Golden Club in Crown Plaza. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. On behalf of all of us, thank you very much and your hospital for organizing the conference and for the invitation. Thank you.